Marcus Ambrose. So, Marcus, uh, if the world was ending in 2015, what would you do differently? Uh, what year is it now? It's 2014. Oh, well, lucky it's not 2016. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, we wouldn't be asking this question, would we? The world's going to end. Uh, I'd go surfing. Where would you go surfing? I'd go off Shark Point in uh, Cronulla, New South Wales. That's in Australia. Hmm. So, what was the best or worst gift you ever received? Um, my grandmother always used to send me underpants for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, not cool. I wanted like a little He-Man or something, I guess, you know, some kind of super toy, but no, yeah. no, I get socks and undies. Yeah. So, what is your first memory of being really excited? Uh, my first ever go-kart race. I was nine years old and I was so excited I couldn't even uh, turn the steering wheel. Do you remember how you finished? Yeah, I got black flagged. I got, I got sent home because there was a, a big sweeping corner followed by like a couple of sharp ones and I just cut the sharp corner and just oh. go straight through the grass. So after about seven laps I decided that was enough. Yeah, that's a problem. So what is your least favorite mode of transportation? Uh, definitely a train. Subways is not my thing. I like subway to eat. I don't like subway to drive. <laughs> okay. Um, when was the last time you were really nervous? I'm nervous for this interview. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> yeah, you don't get interviewed by kids very often, so. Yeah. So we have a fan question by DJ Racing 94 He asked, what was your first car? Uh, my first car was an, was an Isuzu Bighorn. It was actually a... Uh, a GM badge product uh, in Australia, small four-wheel drive. How old were you? In, how old were you when you got that? Okay, so in Australia you can drive on your own when you're 17. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you can drink beer when you're 18. Mm. So um, I drove when I was 17 a lot, and then I put the keys away, and then I drank a lot of beer. <laughs> so what do you miss most about being a kid? Uh, being a kid's great. You know, you get to really enjoy. Uh, just the natural things in life. Uh, you get really excited all the time about stuff that's happening and uh, I'm still a big kid, you know. I'll go, I'll go through McDonald's and ask for a pizza. If you had an unlimited budget to build a racetrack, what type of racetrack would you build and why? It would be a track that never finishes. <laughs> it'd have the most corners, I mean it'd, it'd go all the way around the country. Just, you'd have, you'd have a lap big enough to do it in one tank of fuel. Do you, do you think you would win the race? I'd make sure I set it up so I'd win the race, yeah. <laughs> so you'd rig it? Yeah, totally rig it, yeah. All right. Um, there are probably a lot of perks from being a race car driver, so what's um, the coolest one? Uh, well, you get, you get paid and you don't have to work. That's a pretty good perk right there. I mean, I'm racing. I love racing. It's what I do. And uh, don't tell anyone, but I do it for free. <laughs> All right, so I hear you like panning for gold. Is that I true? Do. I do. I'm a gold digger. Okay, so uh, how often do you, would you say you do that? Uh, I haven't done it much the last couple of years because racing's gotten pretty intense. But certainly, um, you know, I, I I read about gold mining, I study history books and stuff all the time, and uh, you know, I'm thinking about making some big machinery when I slow down the racing, so I can actually go out there in the field and not just pan for gold. I'm going to dig some gold. So where would you go to pan for uh, gold? It's hidden secrets right there. Yeah, yeah. none around here though. But uh, North Carolina was the first strike of gold in the country. And that's where I'm from, and there's actually still a lot of gold in the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have one last question. It's submitted by Kate Nine Fan. This one's a late ad because it's written down here. With yeah. Your handwriting. yeah. I didn't yeah. have time to type it out. No. Nope. So uh, Kate Nine Fan asked, if you could race any past driver besides the king, who would it be? Uh, it's easy, the Intimidator. Yeah. yeah. So why would you race him? Just because he's was such a legend, did so much for the sport, was just an incredible driver, such a hard man. You hear stories about him today about how, how tough he was, you know, um, how he could get hurt and get, um, get straight back in the car the next week and just, you know, that's why they called him the Intimidator. He's an amazing guy and, uh, you know, I, I watched him as a kid uh, on TV and I never got a chance to meet him and, you know, if I had my time to do it all over again, I'd love to, to race against the, the Intimidator. All right, well, thank you for the interview. Nice.